All right, let me talk to you real quick about Rexius Nutrition and Ralston. Rexius carries an awesome line of pre-workout from brands like Alpha Lion, Buck the 5150, Insane Labs, and several other brands. They also have a great selection of protein powder, including my personal favorite, the All Max Hexapro Cookies and Cream flavored. Can't go wrong with that. They also carry the very popular brand Axe and Sledge protein powders, branch chain amino acids, which are crucial to stay hydrated, and pre-workout. They also carry locally owned brands like VHI Fit. They carry their protein powders in several different flavors. They also have pre-workout, branch chain amino acids, vegan protein powder as well. And if you have a sweet tooth like me, you got to try this Omaha Protein Popcorn. The owners, Jamie and Brent Stryker, are absolute studs and are very knowledgeable with a background in bodybuilding. Jamie even reached pro status as an IFBB Pro Women's Physique competitor. Stop by Rexius Nutrition in Ralston on the corner of 84th and Q and receive 10% off when you tell them you're there on an official visit. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to official visit. First episode of 2024 for the official visit. I'm super excited to uh, do this episode here for you guys today. Uh, I'm your host, Oscar Galindo from Prep Red Zone, as you can see. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm super excited for the first episode of 2024. Uh, I thought, what better way to kick off 2024 and this year than by looking ahead at 2025, actually. And that's what we'll be doing in this episode, uh, if you haven't already determined that from the title. Uh, we'll be taking a look at five players from the class of 2025 who I believe are kind of flying under the radar right now. So these are some guys that, um, you know, I haven't really seen a whole lot of, you know, recruitment buzz from them, but they definitely are, you know, buzzworthy players, uh, you know, very great players going into, that are going to be heading into the off season. you know, this is the off season before their senior season, senior year. So a big year coming up for them and some players that I think could really, uh, generate some buzz and have the potential to be great players at the next level. So, um, yeah, these are my five for 25 to kick off 2024. Uh, five players, five juniors that I think uh, should be receiving more buzz. So, yeah. All right. First player up on the board is Omaha North wide receiver slash defensive back Titan Glassman. Uh, Titan Glassman, he's been starting. He was at Burke his freshman season, uh, and he's been starting for North since uh, his sophomore and junior year. Uh, you know, six foot, 180 pounds. Uh, you know, solid speed, runs a 4'6", uh, 40. Uh, ended his junior year with 22 receptions for 284 yards and four touchdowns. Uh, you know, the Vikings were a team that they, they did a lot of, you know, running the ball, so... Uh, not a ton of passing opportunities, and when there was, there's they have a ton of weapons. So, uh, but he definitely made the most of all his targets. One of, one of the things that stands out the most when watching Titan play is just how silky smooth he is as a receiver. You know, uh, he's a very good route runner. Uh, you know, his footwork is is great. Uh, you know, he's he could, you know he's great in and out of his breaks. Uh, you know, very su great suddenness, you know, stop that stop start ability to, you know, change direction at the top of your route and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, that part of his as uh, that aspect of his game really stands out. Uh, you know, at, he's probably one of the more advanced route runners returning uh, next year. So one of, you know, just in the state in general. Yeah, another thing that stands out is just his knowledge and just his ability to attack coverage, you know, whether that be man, he, he has a good sense of uh, you know, how to attack defensive backs and their leverage and stuff like that, you know, with the stem and, and how to out leverage defensive backs to, you know, create some separation. And uh, he, he's also just very keen on finding the little pockets in the defense. Uh, and he has a great chemistry. He has great chemistry with his quarterback, or Sebastian Circo. So they're able to find each other, you know, on, you know, key downs and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, like I said, kind of that tying in again to that, that football IQ aspect and just kind of having a little bit more advanced grasp of the game, I believe. So, um, yeah, uh, you know, he, he has great hands. Uh, he does, you know, he's automatic when, when you get the ball in his vicinity, he's gonna, you know, he's got some clamps, so he's gonna, you know, he's gonna come down with the ball 
and he's he's a tough receiver he's not you know six foot 180 he's not like super big but he does play a lot tougher and a lot more physical than his frame uh would would tell you yeah he'll he'll go up and you know chat you know con battle for those contested balls uh and yeah he does a good job coming down with them more often than not so um yeah just a very good receiver overall very polished i i, I believe also plays defensive back. He's, he had a really great season as a freshman playing defensive back for that uh, Bulldogs defense. Um, but yeah, it's kind of shifted his focus more mainly towards receiver. Uh, but yeah, I could definitely also see him playing defensive back at the next level if you know if that was an opportunity for him. So um, yeah, overall very great talent from this 2025 class player that I think you know is kind of maybe a little bit overshadowed by all the talent on that Omaha North on that Omaha North squad. So, but I think, you know, in this off season, you know, some good camps, uh, whatever it may be, could definitely shine some light on him and hopefully, you know, get him a little bit more attention. So yeah, Titan Glassman from Omaha North, first guy from uh, on my list, 25 or 25. All right, next guy up is Cam Bell from Omaha West Side. He's a defensive lineman, like a true defensive tackle, nose or nose tackle. Uh, six foot, two sixty five. Had twenty five tackles, uh, a tackle for loss, and a fumble recovery as a junior. Uh, I know that doesn't seem like you know gaudy numbers, but you know, the impact he has on a game is a lot deeper than what the stat sheet would say. You know, he's he's a player that constantly receives you know double teams, and you know especially playing up in the interior line. Uh, you know, he'll, he'll take on, you know, you know, centers and guards, uh, but he's just very good at, you know, just muscling his way into the backfield. You know, he he's constantly providing pre or applying pressure to the backfield, you know, whether it be a quarterback or, you know, shutting down uh, interior run lanes and forcing running backs to, you know, go to the outside. Uh, you know, his presence there in the middle of that defense really opens up a lot of opportunities for you know those talented linebackers that Westside has or even just opportunities for his fellow defensive linemen you know RJ and John Quell who are you know very good in their own right but you know I'm sure having a player up in the middle who can you know play basically two gaps uh you know shut down two gaps I guess and you know is still dominant you know could still dominate after doing so uh yeah I'm sure that's you know extremely helpful so yeah, he, he, you know, he's six foot, so he's not super tall, you know, but he's just super strong and has like a compact frame, uh, you know, very strong anchor. He can, you know, as soon as he, you know, gets off the ball, uh, if, you know, he just stack up his blockers and, you know, kind of just dictate where to go from there just with his strength and, you know, strong upper body. So, um, you know, active hands, always, you know, watching his tape, he constantly, you know, keeping his hands active, trying to, you know, disengage from blocks. And of course, he's got that big old club, uh, you know, cast on his arm. I'm sure that was, you know, just a hammer to get hit by, <laughs> uh, you know, if, when you mashed up with him. So as in the backfield and, you know, tracking the ball carrier or the quarterback. And, you know, he, ha he has very good pursuit. He, he, and he's a pretty solid athlete and has good lateral burst here. Uh, that, you know, kind of help him track down or, you know, chase down a running back or quarterback scrambling QB. Uh, you know, like I said, just kind of applying pressure. Even if he doesn't get there, he's, he's you know, forcing hurries and, you know, providing pressure for, again, or on that, on opposing quarterback. So, uh, yeah, like I said, a player whose impact, you know, is definitely way more felt than what the stat sheet would say. So, all right, our next guy up, uh, he's got quite a few things in common here with Cam, uh, you know, both on defensive line, both have some experience at O-line and, you know, both come with that championship mentality. Uh, my next guy up is Jack Jensen from Bennington, uh, defensive lineman, defensive end, uh, 6'2", 230, finishes junior year with 80 tackles, nine tackles for loss, two sacks and a fumble recovery. So, he, you know, he was just making constant play after play. Uh, when I went to go watch him against Elkhorn North, it seemed like, you know, just watching them, he, he was just constantly in the fold, you know, some way or another, whether he was the one making the stop or, 
you know, he was forcing QBs out of the pocket, whatever it may be. He was just uh, constantly, you know, someone that I, I was was near the ball, basically. Uh, he played on the offensive line his sophomore season, and he was a player that I thought was a top 30 player, top 25 probably in his class at O-line. And then he made the switch over to defensive line this uh, before this season, and he probably looked even better honestly which is saying a lot because he's he was a really good offensive lineman for them on that you know championship team uh, but yeah he transitioned over did not look like any kind of how should I say you know growing pains on the defensive line just natural ath you know great athlete uh, watching him you know he, ha he has some pretty good length to him actually too so uh, you know top of 6'2 he had some ni nice length uh, I think it helps him using that link to kind of create some separation. Uh, very relentless with his pursuit. He's a player that's constantly just from snap to whistle going 100 miles per hour. And uh, he's not stopping until, you know, the play's over, you know, until he's make, made the play. Or very relentless, tireless pursuit of the ball. Uh, constantly near the ball. Uh, very quick to fire off at, at the snap. Uh, very quick first step. He's very explosive. Uh, you know, shoots through his hips very well, and then you know does a great job get his, getting uh, shooting his hands and getting make, making great initial contact uh, with the blocker. Uh, he has a nice little bag of moves. He could just you know straight up bully his way into a backfield. You know, and just getting his mitts on on a, on a blocker and just driving him back with just his natural strength. Or you know, he he can he can use his hands a bit. You know, he could he could kind of do, do some swim. You know, swim a little bit or. You know, rip and go or whatever it may be. Uh, but yeah, verse verse tell at you know how he applies the pressure because he's gonna he's gonna get to the backfield somehow. Uh, but it's just you know he's smart about how he decides to attack on every play and kind of gets a feel for the tackle he's playing against and you know is able to determine you know whether he uses you know his strength to just bully his way into backfield or whatever it may be. So uh you know fills his gaps very well he's he's great he's a very good athlete has a nice lateral quickness did but you can kind of you know just scheme him up a little bit uh you know you bring him on stunts you can you know just do whatever do whatever with him he's he's a really good defensive lineman and he does a lot of the little things very well too you know just small things like getting your hands up uh you know when the qb's getting the ball out you know, try to try to break that up or try to disrupt the ball pass in some way. Uh, so yeah, well coached. You know those guys at Bennington, they they're good at using their weight room. So you know he's gonna come, you know, strong and you know physical and smart player. So yeah, very talented player. I think he he's someone that he certainly needs to be needs to start picking up some some interest or some buzz on the recruiting world because he's he's gonna be one he's gonna be a hidden gem i believe in the 2025 class all right next man up in, in on my list is uh you know just a jack of all trades player uh can get it done get the job done on the offensive or defensive side of the ball uh it's auburn bulldogs brant and i do apologize if, Apologize if I butcher this last name. Brent Galicia, uh, you know, junior for the Bulldogs, six foot, one hundred ninety pounds. Uh, you know, he's a player that can fit several different roles uh, on offense. You know, he played running back, and you know, you could also slide him out to slot receiver, or you know, kind of, you know, test him out there, create, find a mismatch, uh, and then on defense, where I think he kind of play excels at. Uh, he can, you know, play outside linebacker. He can play safety. He can cover in the slot or nickel, whatever. Um, yeah, just like I said, a great overall athlete. Very football smart. A knack for making plays. He finished the season with 121 tackles, 14 tackles for loss, three sacks, an interception, two forced fumbles, and then he rushed for 465 yards and uh, scored two touchdowns on the ground. So. Yeah, just a very good feel for the game on both sides. On defense, I feel like he—that's kind of where he shines a little bit more. Uh, you could play, you could play him, you know, up near the line of scrimmage, kind of as a you know ru rushing there a little bit off the edge, uh, which he you know he he does a very good job, you know, getting to the backfield obviously with his 14 tackles for loss. Uh, but yeah, he's not—he does you know size says six foot 190 pounds, but 
uh, you know, watching him play, he he plays a lot bigger than that, and he he's a lot more physical or than you would kind of expect. Uh, so yeah, he's able to you know he's able to take on those block or, you know blocking linemen and stuff like that, and you know he's he's physical and he's tough and he could take those on. Just his pursuit will help him find the ball. So um, he can also kind of play off ball a little bit. You know, put him in that inside linebacker's spot. Uh, you know, let him play in coverage where he can, you know, pick up running backs and uh, pick up crossing receivers, whatever it may be. He's a very fluid player in, in coverage as well, which is some, you know, kind of fill, filling that, that mold for the new age defender who can kind of, you know, do it all really, you know, and kind of play him a multitude of ways. Yeah, you, I could see him playing safety at the next level. On offense, I really liked, on offense, I really liked, uh, you know, his vision, the way he sees the field. Uh, He's a great athlete with the ball in his hands. He he can find creases and lanes, and uh, he's athletic enough, and you know he can make himself fit through those lanes, and has great burst and acceleration once he once he you know hits those. Um, tough to bring down on contact. He's not a player that's gonna go down easy. You're gonna have to you know get a couple guys over there to bring him down. And then like I mentioned earlier, you know played a little bit of receiver, had some. Uh, He's just, like I said, a great athlete who can, and then like I mentioned, uh, he's also, you know, a player you can kind of, you know, test the waters with at receiver. You can kind of like uh, slip him out you know, into a slot and see what kind of damage he could do against like a linebacker or a small DB, uh, you know, just kind of trying to find mismatches with him and, you know, exploit them, uh, just kind of get the most out of him, uh, out of Brant. All right, so last player, but certainly not least, is another linebacker. All right, so last player, but certainly not least, is another kind of hybrid defender here, uh, similar to Bryant, uh, outside linebacker, but can also kind of fit that safety hybrid, linebacker hybrid role. Uh, we have Pillion Vistas, Kale Johnson. Uh, Kale is 6'3", 210 pounds, uh, you know, very talented player, very smart player who can kind of, you know, he can play against the run and, you know, he's, he's also very good in coverage, very fluid in coverage. Finished the season with 59 tackles, three and a half tackles for loss and two interceptions. Uh, Kale is a player that I think is set up to have a big season next year as a um, part of both the offense and defense. Uh, defensively, you know, he, finished, he already had 59 tackles this season. And that's with a couple other very good linebackers around him and, you know, great players on defense. Uh, so, you know, with some departures, I could see him step, having to step up a little bit more. And I could see probably, you know, even close to like 80 tackles and, you know, definitely quite a few more of those other stats, uh, you know, interceptions, sacks, whatever it may be. But like I said, uh, with some of those departures, someone that I think is going to be able to, uh, you know, kind of eat up some of that production while also, you know, just playing a key, a key part as one of the seniors and one of the leaders of that defense. Offensively, uh, he plays tight end, um, you know, with Eric Ingerson heading to Nebraska, that opens up a spot for him, likely, you know, taking up that tight end number one spot for the Monarchs. Um, I've seen uh, quite a bit of him at like camps and kind of see what he could do on the offensive side of the ball. And he's a very talented receiver. Uh, for someone his size, he he does a very good job with his routes. Uh, you know, he he's physical. Uh, you can you know if you want a DB or a linebacker wants to wants to try to you know get physical with him, he has zero hesitation to you know dish it back out. And you know, it's at six feet two hundred ten. You know, he's a big body to kind of try to bully around. So more than likely, he he's gonna be the one bullying, doing the bullying. So uh, I haven't seen a ton of like blocking clips from him. I'm not saying he's not a good blocker. I just haven't seen a ton of it. Uh, but like I said, with the big body, you know, 6'3", 210, probably going to bulk up a little bit before the next season. I could definitely see him, you know, being a great in-line blocking tight end for the Monarchs who, you know, they love to pound the ball. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm very excited to see what he, he might do at the offensive side of the ball. But yeah, defensive side of the ball, that's where I could see him kind of making uh you know making his money out there uh plays outside linebacker very lengthy very rangy player gets the ball very very well uh we could also you know put him in the slot and have him cover receivers and tight ends and you know with a big body like that like i said he's not gonna 
he, you know, he, 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 he can take on the physicality or dish it out. So and another thing I kind of picked up on in his tape was uh, kind of just how quick he is to react to everything on the field. You know, he he re reads the ball very well, or reads his keys very well. And, uh, you know, he'll break on the ball, you know, very quick. So, you know, like I mentioned, he has the range and quickness to get to the ball, you know, in a flash. So, um, yeah, very solid overall player. Uh, kind of still up in the air where he will play at the next level. Likely that outside linebacker especially if he continues to fill out his frame a little bit uh but yeah someone that like i mentioned he, he he has a ton of upside and his versatility definitely adds to that so um excited to see what 2024 has in store for kale so yeah kale johnson papillion la vista all right that was my list for the five for 25 that's five players in the class of 2025 that I believe should be uh, receiving a little bit more recruiting buzz, uh, you know, especially in this offseason as they go into their senior year. Uh, you know, these are five players that I think, uh, you know, have a ton of upside they have production, they have, you know, the talent and, you know, they're guys that I think once they get to the next level, uh, have a chance to be, you know, very productive. So, um, you know, just a quick rundown, that's Titan Glassman from Omaha North, Cameron Bell from Omaha West Side, defensive lineman, Titans uh, receiver, uh, Jack Jensen from Bennington, defensive lineman, Brant Galicia from Auburn, he's an athlete, uh, we play linebacker, safety, tight, or not tight, running back, uh, you know, maybe even some receiver there, uh, and then we also have Kale, jo Kale Johnson from P and there's also Kale Johnson from Papillion La Vista, uh, another linebacker, but can also maybe play safety and, you know, ton of upside at tight end as well. So that's my five for 25. Um, those are just five players from a very talented group of 2025 or class of 2025. Uh, if you want to see the full list, go to prepredzone.com uh and go to the, the nebraska site where you can see the, our full rankings for 20 for the 2025 class um but yeah uh you know like i said that it's it's hundreds of players deep of you know very talented players um but yeah i just wanted to shout out these five these five guys who you know been putting in a lot of work and have production and are just guys that i think uh should be recruited should be getting recruited a little bit more than they are uh, and some guys that i think will be hidden and some guys that i think are some you know hidden gems for for teams you know to find so yeah hopefully you know coaches they you know raced over to twitter and give these guys a follow hopefully getting these guys on campus soon and you know kind of start recruiting them up so yeah that was my five for 25 i appreciate you guys for watching uh as always uh Show some love to our sponsor, Rexius Nutrition in Ralston. They do offer 10% off any purchase when you mention the official visit, and that is at the Ralston location. Uh, give them, give them, you know, go check them out, whether it be, you know, get some protein, some pre-workout, uh, energy drinks, whatever it may be. Uh, you know, support small local businesses who, you know, they love to support our local athletes. So, um yeah check them out and then the official visit check us out on spotify youtube uh wherever podcasts are at give us a subscribe or subscribe like uh comment whatever it may be uh follow me on twitter tell me what you thought of the episode tell me what you think of the channel um tell me what you'd like to see more of in 2024 you know i'm, I'm i want to get back to doing a little bit more interviews Kind of been doing a few, you know, player highlights here and there, but uh, yeah, definitely like to get more interviews and start spreading your guys' story a little bit more. So uh, yeah, definitely in the comments, let me know what you guys think and what you guys would like to see more of in 2024. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys and hope you guys have a good one.